Hello, Leo viewers. So I'm going to look into your situation, um, whatever the cards want to say. You know, it's regarding love, but sometimes they have, you know, financial messages or just random messages for you guys. So we'll just see what the cards want to say. The last reading I did, I was getting that love is going to come in very quickly for you. Um, once you remove a final block that you have. So if this is your story, you might want to check out that last reading I did a couple weeks ago. Because it's like you've been trying to manifest love and you keep putting all this energy and intention into manifesting love. But there's just like this one last block that keeps, um, it's like keeping love away from you. And I think you're confused because you're doing everything right. Like you've you've done the healing work. You've you, you've gone through hell and back. You, you've gone through everything. So love should manifest by now. But there's just this one little thing. Like it could be a certain person you're holding on to. Maybe like an ex that you feel like you're over them, but maybe there's still an energetic connection there. Like they're still maybe um, picking up on your energy through those astral red red cords that we all have to, to our soulmates. Um, could be a situation. There's just like that one little block that keeps holding you back. And it could be a certain belief that you have about love. Like maybe you feel like maybe you're self-sabotaging uh, subconsciously. You don't even realize it. It's like you're maybe you're pushing love away a little bit unintentionally, you know, by maybe feeling like it's too good to be true or feeling like love is something that has to happen in the future, like feeling like it can't happen in the present moment. You know, you want to get in that energy of, of feeling like you deserve love and feeling like you can have love now. Because if you keep seeing it as something that's in the future, it's always going to be in the future. You know what I mean? Like if you have this mentality, and this isn't for all of you, but if, you know, if this is for some of you, this might be what the block is. Maybe you have this mentality of, you know, I need to finish school or I need to I need to focus on finances or I need to do a little bit more healing work or I need to do this or that. And then then, you know, in a few months, then I'll, I'll start thinking about dating, you know, but then it's like when that time comes, there's something else. You're like, well, I'm not financially stable now, so I need you know, I need a few more months and then a few more months passes and you're like, well, Maybe I should maybe I should wait till the semester's over and then I'll, I'll maybe check out some dating apps or dating websites. Um, so it's like you're you're consciously like you feel like you're doing it for the right reasons, but it's really subconscious self sabotage. It's like you you love the idea of love, but it's like your your part of you is afraid of it, probably from a past heartbreak, which you know it makes sense. It happens. But I'm just, you know, trying to bring that awareness here is that that could be blocking you if you if you keep seeing it as something that has to be in the future, because no one's ever really ready for love, you know, like love is just something that happens like none of us are ever really ready for it. It's just, you know, we, we can't really control the timing of it. Um, so try to I'm not saying like try to obsess over it happening right now, but just try to hold space for the possibility of it happening now. You know, don't see it as something that's far away or too good to be true or something that you can only have after you've met certain goals. Like see love as just a part of who you are, like see it as something that you can manifest now in the present moment, you know. Um, that's what's going to help it manifest is, is seeing it in the present moment and sort of pushing it further and further away from yourself. But, um, hey, let's see what the cards have to say. What do the cards have to say? Vulnerability, receptivity. Fear of commitment. Yeah, it's like you feel like you're vulnerable and receptive, but I feel like you're actually afraid, and it's like you don't even realize it. I almost feel like you might have been in a situation where someone was mirroring your own commitment issues back to you, and it's like you weren't even... You didn't under it didn't click until later or maybe it's starting to click now and I know that's like a shock you know and, and and again if this isn't resonating with you then it's not your story so you know just just move along if this doesn't resonate but but yeah for some of you it's like you you might feel like you're really vulnerable but it's like you push love away so it's like you kind of have this maybe almost like a fantasy world like this inner world that you created where it's like you feel like a romantic and you feel so emotional and you feel so vulnerable but no one really gets to see that. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it could be like, even like an attachment to fictional characters, even, you know, like I understand that energy. Don't get me wrong. I totally understand that energy. Um, but it could be like this, like this inner fantasy world that you sort of created where you're kind of like detached from actual relationships, if that makes sense. It's like, you're like, you feel vulnerable. And when you're alone, you know, like, 
maybe you get lost in, in thinking about love, like you're a romantic deep down. But it's like when it comes to like things going on in the physical world, it's like you don't really show that vulnerability, vulnerability to anybody. And it could be even that you're talking to people and like you think that you're really obvious and vulnerable and you're actually not like you're you might feel so vulnerable and so open with people that it's like but it's like internal. You know what I mean? It's like you just think about them like you you say I love you to them in your head or you just kind of long for them. But it's like you don't actually like say it out loud but you just kind of feel like it's obvious and it's, it might not be, it might not be as obvious to people as, as you think. This could be fa family, friends, lovers, you know, multiple people, but it's like, it's kind of like you're vulnerable and receptive in your inner world. But when it comes to actual like relationships, like externally, it's like you're, you might have this fear of commitment that is, has been kind of holding you back. Um, and you might need to address that, you know, cause that's what, that's what we were getting in the last video too, which is kind of an extension of that of that energy, you know, kind of going into in depth into, you know, being introspective. Okay. So like, where did this come from? Did this come from a relationship? Did this come from, you know, part of your past? Like, is there a certain belief system that you keep holding on to? Um, like feeling like love has to be far away or like it just can't happen today for some reason. That's kind of pushing that energy away from you. Um, and it's not, you know, if you have commitment issues, it's not, it doesn't make you a bad person. You know what I mean? Like, I think a lot of people have commitment issues and they don't even realize that they have them because they subconsciously sabotage it. Because when your subconscious tries to sabotage things, a lot of the time it's like, it won't do it in really intense ways. It'll do it in subtle ways, like procrastination, like, like, oh, I just can't have love until I've graduated school or until the end of the year. And it's like, to you, to your conscious mind, that's like, oh, that's, that's valid, you know, like to, and to people around you too, that's probably like, that makes sense. Yeah. But on a deeper level, it's like, you're, you just, you're scared of it. You know, you might not even realize that you're scared of it. It might just be, you know what I mean? Like it, it's something that you need to bring up consciously so that you can start working on it. Um, cause you, yeah, you might have this underlying fear of commitment. There might be someone that you feel like they know because I'm getting for some of you, you love your ex and you think that it's obvious to them and it's not. I think you think it's obvious to them because you have this really in-depth, like, um, creative world inside your head where you guys have had conversations, where they've come up in your dreams, where you've, you know, thought about all the different scenarios of things you could or should say to them. But you haven't expressed as like you're you're not very grounded you haven't expressed as much of that as you think you have so this person might not actually know that you love them you could be god i'm getting for some of you that you're waiting for your ex to come back and they're waiting for you to come back like i feel like for some of you they actually don't like there was like miscommunication and they don't know that they have you let me let me see if, what i can get from that Yeah, I'm getting a yes from my pendulum. Like, there's someone... This might not be for all of you, but this is for at least a few of you. I feel like there's, like, an X or something where it's, like... There was miscommunication, like, maybe pride and stubbornness, and it's, like, maybe... Like, you were so vulnerable with them inside, but not outside. Does that make sense? It's, like, you would dream about them, or you would, like think about conversations in your head that you could have with them or you would you know what I mean like you would kind of just live in your head about them but it's like and it's like you it was so deep and so emotional like these these fantasies and these dreams about them that you you felt like it was obvious physically but you might have only communicated a small part of that physically maybe you just kind of expected them to be able to see through you maybe you thought it was obvious but you know what like body language if this is a man we're talking about or someone in masculine energy, honestly, men don't typically, and I mean, everyone's different. Men and women are always different, but typically a lot of men don't pick up on body language and subtle hints the way that women do. And again, that always varies. It's, it's different, but, but generally speaking, a lot of men, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's like, they just, they don't get the hints the way that we do. Um, so it's totally possible that it's like you just felt like, well, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm such a romantic. How did you not know? But it's like, that's just who you are. That doesn't, if this person is insecure, they might not know that that's who you are with them, though. They might just think that's your general energy. You know what I mean? Because I'm kind of getting the energy that there's someone in your past 
that you miscommunicated with. And keep in mind, if you're following my Leo readings, this could be a different person than it was last uh, a couple of weeks ago, because this is just like a general continuation. So I mean, I channel the same energy group. Like if you've been with me for a few months, this this should still be your story. It should be continuous. Like. But sometimes it's someone different that pops up. You know what I mean? So it's like it might have been a different ex that I was channeling a couple of weeks ago. And then this might be a different a, a different ex or a new person that I'm channeling right now. You know what I mean? Um, or it could be the same person. It depends on what your story is. But but anyway, yeah, I feel like I feel like there was miscommunication. And I feel like I really get a strong sense that... Um, like you just, you felt like they just know. And it's like, they don't know though. <gasps> oh, you like, you just, you thought like you thought it was so obvious because it was obvious to you, you know, because you felt that energy um, so strongly, but it's like, they didn't know. And I think there was miscommunication and I think that there's pride. Let me pull cards. I need to stop rambling my butt off and pull some cards. Okay. There's, I did, I get a strong sexual energy with this person too. Someone might think that you're just using them for sex or that you just like, someone might be really into you, but they're insecure and they think that you're just like a seductress type or a, you know, male or female, either way. Um, there is a strong sexual energy, like a lot of sexual, like lusty kind of energy between you two. I do feel that. I feel like someone's viewing you as cold and guarded and distrusting though. Like they feel that sense of home with you. They feel that connection, but they're like afraid that it's, they don't know if it's toxic or not. I don't know. It could be that you tried to play some hard to get games and it might have backfired on you. Like you might have maybe tried to make them jealous or something for some of you. Sorry, I didn't realize that was so out of balance. Some of you might have tried to like make them jealous or something and it might be backfire. It might have, maybe it backfired on you. Or maybe it's currently backfiring on you. Or maybe like you tried to play hard to get or you tried to ignore them and pretend like you don't care and now they're kind of like, huh? <laughs> Like, they don't know what to make of you now. Um, I feel like they might be watching your social media because we got publicity social media here. Because it's like they feel at home with you. They feel a strong connection with you. But, like, they don't they don't know what to make of this. So they're just kind of watching you. They're kind of spying on you right now. Yeah, they're kind of taking some time apart to just pause, reflect, and rest, and try to figure this out. You guys do have a deep psychic connection to maybe coming through each other's dreams. Um, telepathic communication, that kind of energy. I mean, the last reading I did, remember, I was getting that it's like you're almost there with love, but you have that one block left that you need to remove. And you really need to do some soul searching to figure out what that block is. Um, if you're new to my channel, I would recommend going and checking that video out. It, I posted it a couple weeks ago. It's, it's titled Love Will Qu Come In Quickly Once You Remove This Final Block. Um, this could be chakra blocks too, but for a lot of you, I just feel like it's like a certain belief that you might have about love, about love having to be difficult or it having, maybe you have, maybe some of you have a belief that you have to play games to keep a person's interest. Maybe some of you have this belief that you've got to um, play hard to get or you've got to play games. And what you have to know about that though is, because I understand that energy. I'm a fire sign too. I'm an Aries. So I understand like the fire sign energy. I really do. And I get that because I've gone through a lot of phases like that myself where I've been like, you know, screw this. I'm going to have the upper hand. I'm going to I'm going to make them come to me. And it's, it's good to be in the energy to some degree. But it's like you also have to realize if you're having to ignore someone for hours at a time and you're having to, like, pretend to talk to other people to make them jealous and like, you know, canceling on them and playing those games, it's like you're going to have to keep doing that. Otherwise you're going to lose their interest. Like if, if you're trying to, if you're trying to pull in someone that's like that, that's not emotionally available and they only want what they can't have. It's like, yeah, you can play those games and you can pull them in, but are you really going to play those games forever? Like, you know what I mean? Like at a certain point, you're just going to want love. You're going to want someone you can be vulnerable and open and romantic with. Um, you, you know, like, you're, you're going to have to keep ignoring them and making them jealous and, you know, making them realize what they're about to lose. And, and then, yeah, they'll keep chasing you and it will feel good. But where does that go? You know what I mean? Are they just going to are you going to keep doing playing the games and having them chase you forever? Like eventually you want the commitment. And once they have you, it's like 
then the chase is over and they're off doing something else. Like they get over it, you know, um, because you're, because that's the type of person they are. They just want the chase. They don't actually want a real relationship, you know, like they might think they do, but they, you know, in theory, they actually just, they want, they just want what they can't have. And eventually you want someone that wants a family and wants, you know, you know, children, if that's what you want and wants marriage and all the things that you want, and someone who's going to be turned on by you being vulnerable and open with them, you know, and that's rare. I know that there's probably way more people out there that like to play the games and like the, the drama and the hot and cold relationships. There's probably way more people out there that are into those kind of relationships, you know, but that's not what you want. You got to be honest with yourself and rise above the loneliness. Like you, you don't want that. You know what I mean? Like long term you, you, you can't just have this person chasing you forever and going on this merry-go-round with them. Eventually, you, you, you want to stop and you want to cuddle and be loved and, and have a home and a family. And you're not going to have that with this person. They're, you're you're going to have to keep playing the games. And once you stop playing the games, you lose their interest, you know? And it's, it's a harsh reality, I know. But, um, and this could be someone from your past. It could be that maybe someone that you dated was like that, where it was a power struggle with them. And now you have someone that's either just come in or coming in soon. Um, and this could be a warning, like when this new person comes in, don't play those games because this person is going to be a million times more mature, more stable, more independent than that other person was. You know, people that play games like that, it's like they're insecure. They're scared of commitment. They're, they're afraid. They're... They don't know what they want. And it's like, you don't want that. You want like an alpha male or like an alpha female type. You want someone who's strong, who's confident, who knows who they are, who knows what they want. Someone that will not, not only not be turned on by games, but not tolerate games. And that's what this, that's the energy I get from this person. So again, I don't know if this is someone that's just come in or someone new that's coming in, or this could be an ex that's wanting to come back around and they, maybe they've matured a little bit. But this person, whoever this new person is, they're they're not going to tolerate the games if you go hours without texting they're going to know you're playing a game and they're going to get over it they're this person is like ready for commitment this person's not going to do the games this is like a warrior spirit type this is someone who's very strong and very assertive and knows what they want um so they don't have a tolerance for that you know they'll recognize that they'll recognize that you're playing a game and they'll call they're either going to call you out on it or they're just going to ignore you and this could be, you might have already gone through this with this person and maybe, maybe you were playing games and because I did get that energy in the beginning of the reading where I was feeling like, like you're not communicating with someone because there was like miscommunication. So that could be what this is. Like maybe that already happened for some of you, like you guys miscommunicated and, you know, you were playing games and they said, screw this, I'm not doing it. And now they're not messaging you. Um, cause you seemed like you were, weren't emotionally available and, um, you know, and you're thinking like, why aren't they chasing me? And they're like, they're, they're like, why isn't, why isn't, why aren't they messaging me? Why, why do they have to play games? Like, it's like, there's some kind of miscommunication that's either happened or happening. I feel, um, so you can't, whatever this pattern is, and it could be different for everybody. For some of you, that's the pattern for some of you. It's like like a belief that love has to be far away or love has to be a challenge, just making things more difficult than necessary. And, and so you want to figure out what that is that keeps pushing love away from you and try to fix that, you know? Um, and if you'd like a private reading, my email address is below in the description box. Just send me an email and I can go more in depth into this. I can see who this person is, see who the ex is, um, you know, go in depth into each, who each person is in your life, um, you know, what you might be able to expect from them in the near future. Whenever you want to know, you know, I, I do in-depth readings. So um, if this is your story, go ahead and send me an email if you want. Um, and I'll look more in depth in this. Oh, I'll look more into this for you. Sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just feel like there's something here that's like blocking love. Hmm. I just get a strong sense of like miscommunication. So I think the story is going to be different for everyone. Like for some of you, it's like you did play the games and now you guys are in this power struggle where you're just kind of not talking, but I feel like almost like you're unaware of it. Like you're almost, it's like, maybe they misunderstood. Maybe you weren't even trying to play games and they misunderstood and thought you were, I don't know. 
there's this weird energy there where I just feel someone that like wants to talk to you but they feel like it's like a standoff like they're not allowing themselves to cave and message you like they're trying to be strong they want you to come to them it could be maybe you're used to being chased and maybe they're used to being chased so you guys are both kind of just being silent right now instead of talking because it's like you want them to make the first move and they want you to make the first move and no one's really willing to budge so you guys are just kind of going in circles and your, your pride and stubbornness is, you know, on both ends, not just, not yours. I mean, th theirs too, you know, um, maybe you guys got in an argument and they think you're in the wrong and you think they're in the wrong. There's some sort of energy here though, where it's like someone's wanting to talk to you, but they're not letting themselves. Now, I don't know why, though. I mean, I, I think it's I think there's a couple different stories that I'm channeling here. So like I said, for some of you, you might have played game like might have played hard to get. And they're just like, nope, screw it. You want to message me and date? We'll do it. But I'm not I'm not chasing you. And so now you're just like, why aren't they chasing me when everyone else does? Like, why? Like, do they not like me? And it's like, no, they're just waiting for you to come to them. Um For others, it's it's like there was an argument or there's some type of miscommunication because I almost feel like this person either feels rejected by you or they feel like you're playing games or they feel like something was off. Can you show me more of that energy? And again, if this is your story, just send me an email and I can do an in-depth reading. You know, that's that's the most, if you want really, if you really want to get the details on who this person is, that's the, the best thing to do is, is email me and um, have me look into it. But, um, but yeah, I'll see what I can get here. Because we're getting those cards where it was like someone thinks that you're like cold and guarded. And it's like, I don't think that you were even aware of that. You know, I feel like maybe, I almost feel like you've been so vulnerable with this person, but you haven't like expressed that vulnerability. And so you just kind of think that they know and they actually don't know. They don't realize that you're as vulnerable as you are with them. Like they're kind of just oblivious. Um... Yeah, they're wanting, it's, it might be someone from your past that's wanting this loyalty and stability with you and wanting to make promises. They want the passion, the romance, but they might just be confused by your actions or energy. Um, might have some stuff going on financially too. So they're wanting to make, someone's wanting to make a love offer and commit. But yeah, they keep getting, someone might keep getting tied, tough, tied up. Oh my God tied up financially because so we got stagnation and complacency so it's like someone wants to make a love offer but they might be getting like maybe their finances are not in order and so they feel that could be part of the insecurity too is that they feel like their finances aren't good enough and they want to be financially stable before they commit to someone maybe some of you said something to them like oh did you get that new job yet and maybe they took it the wrong way like oh crap maybe i don't have enough Maybe I'm not financially stable enough to be in this relationship. I don't know. Or this could be you too, because remember we're getting that energy where it's like, it's time for love. Like love is, it's time for love. Like it's not, it's not like you need to have it six months from now. Like it's time, like this month, like it, the time is here. Um, but you got to remove this block. And for some of you, it's like finances and career where you're like, it's like, it's like a, I want to say like a sabotage, but it's almost like I'm just going to I can't focus on love like love is too scary or is too much right now. Like I'm going to focus on my money and it's good, but it's like you have to have all you know what I mean? Like you can't just you can't be so unbalanced and just have money and no love or have love and no money. It's like you need to be able to have all of it, you know, like a good career, money, love, uh, hobbies, like all of it. All those things should be in balance, you know, so you need to find that balance in your life again. Um, so yeah, this could be the energy of sabotage. So let's get a few more quick messages. Yeah, someone's really confused about you because they feel like you're their happiness and their warmth and their light, but they're like, they don't understand. Like they don't, I don't think that they know how you feel. I really feel like you think it's so obvious to this person and it's like this person is like really insecure and so it's actually not obvious to them. But either it's either time for you to send a message or someone's wanting to send a message to you. And full disclaimer, if you send a message, I'm not responsible for however that goes. It's up to you. This is just, you know, readings are for entertainment purposes only. It's, it's up to you how you take it. I'm, I'm not responsible for anything that you do or do not do as a result of this reading. Um, but for some of you, it's time to, it's, you know, the cards are pointing to that, 
you know, and you got to use your own intuition there. But but for some of you, it's saying it's time to message or they're wanting to message because they want clarity because they're confused and they're tired of being confused. They're like, hey, I thought we had this like connection. Like what's going on? Like, why are you why are you silent? Why are you distant? Like, why are you, you know, like what's going on? <laughs> maybe they misunderstood something like maybe they thought you were taken or something. I don't know. It's almost like you guys need to communicate because I see I sense miscommunication here. And this could be someone that, like, this could be someone coming up that you need to be aware of this energy, or it could be someone from your past that's coming back around that's, like, maybe they waited months for you to come back to them, and you never did, and now they're just wanting some, like, clarity, you know, to know why you never came back. Um, anyway, if this resonates, my email is below, and any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My PayPal link is also below, as well as my email, and uh, please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you for watching.